Hello everyone, welcome back to another EU4 video where today we will be doing an unlikely candidate. Okay. <laughs> it is listed as a very hard achievement and this is probably the hardest one I have done for a video and done on stream before. It is incredibly difficult to start as one of these small little countries in the Maghreb starting as Mazab because I also wanted to combine it with the third way which is basically get rid of all the other schools of Islam and just make it Ibadi, which is just a light version of a world conquest. And it's equally as difficult. It is really obnoxious. It's really annoying. And uh, for this first section of the video, there is going to be a bit of a voiceover because I was streaming live on twitch.tv slash Leo Dickinson TV, also live here on twitch.tv slash Leo Dickinson VT, and I forgot to uh, change my recording settings so that you didn't hear the music in the recording. So uh, the first 10 minutes or so are going to be a voiceover of me talking out what we're doing. And then the rest of the video is going to be as per usual. All so right, I hope you enjoy this video. Again. It is an arduous one. I make it look easy because I had like I 30 hours of footage and I cut it down to 35 minutes. And those 35 minutes are the 35 minutes that actually worked. So, have fun watching this one. I'll see you at the very end. Right now, we're setting up for this achievement. And what I usually like to do is buy, instead of deleting the one horse because it's too expensive, I buy another horse so we have improved combat ability and we win battles easier, we win battles faster. Uh, as for all the privileges I'm handing out here, the plus one privileges, enforced unity of faith, uh, you know, pretty much everything that gives us plus mission, plus missionary strength. Um, I also take the officer cores so we can kind of get an air quotes free general that we are going to need because we only have just our ruler and I don't want to waste any mill points on anything. So that's kind of needed in order to get a general sometimes it's a good general and it's just like temporary loss of loyalty we see here that uh it's actually not that bad of a general like four maneuver and uh three fire i think that was and then right here what i do because sometimes the rng is a big bitch uh i make a backup save of november 12th so after I do all of those privileges and I do all of my setup. I made this save and, you know, I basically hope the RNG doesn't screw me within the first month or two because sometimes, you know, your first war to Gort, they do ally Tlemcen sometimes. And I didn't know if that was based on like day one. You can see me clicking through it like day one alliances or day two alliances or not. Or, you know, later in the months. But uh, right here, you can see I save the game again on December 12th, where no one around me has allies. So I can go to war with Tagord. But what I'm going to do is wait for them to get the alliance with Fazan, because that happens very often. They get an alliance with Fazan. And when that happens, you can vassalize Fazan. And so we wait just a couple of days. They get the alliance with Fezzan. They don't have the alliance with Tlemcen, which Tlemcen will ally them a lot of the time. This time, though, they don't. And so we siege down Fezzan in 90 days, which was the fastest I've ever sieged it down. You don't co-belligerate Fezzan because A, you don't need to, and B, they are uh, independence guaranteed by Tunis. So you don't want to co-belligerate Tunis. You just vassalize them right off the rip. We full annex to Gort, and I'm going to tell you, this took probably like an hour's worth of uh, resetting just to get this. And even then, it's not perfect, because then we have to declare war on Jared, who also sometimes allies Tlemcen, and sometimes Tlemcen is a bastard to deal with. Uh, in this scenario, though, we spent a lot of money to get some more troops, to get some more uh, you know, free company regiments like that. It's not right. hard to, you know, eat up that third country down there next to us. But uh, right here, battling Tlemcen, they start with a strong army. They start with two forts. So it's very yes. annoying to have to try to take them out. 
But uh, eventually, we get to a point in the war where we are very low on money. We don't want to spend even more time sieging down their capital because, you know, we're almost dead on manpower. We're very low on money. I just want to get out of this war, take the money, pay off a lot of loans, restructure my debt, all that kind of thing. Um, try to fix my economy a little bit. You can see I'm looking at, I have the max loans thing. We have enough money to pay off enough loans that we can get more loans and then restructure the debt. So this, uh, this start is very finicky. Sometimes Morocco also declares on Tlemcen. Sometimes Tunis also declares on Tlemcen and will take some land from you. So you kind of have to be careful with what goes on there and uh, you have to be able to jump whenever you can, whenever you're ready. Unless... Uh, so right here, we're looking at like, uh, you know, a potential next war, either Morocco or Tunis. But then I'm like, wait a minute, I can't even get to Morocco. So naturally, I have to go to war with Tunis. And uh, with our first government reform, we're looking at, you know, we have feudal theocracy, which gets us mil missionary strength, another missionary. Right here, I take strength and noble privileges because we're going to need the manpower. And we integrate Fezzan. We wait to integrate Fezzan because we can then release Tripoli from a province that Fezzan had, which gives us reconquest on Tunis. So that makes it a little bit easier to eat up Tunis. And uh, from here, we will declare war. We got an alliance with Portugal and Naples, which, uh, again, a lot of resets. It took a lot of attempts to get that, but we got those alliances. They will help us out with Tunis. Tunis just happened to be allied to Tlemcen as well. So... We'll be able to get Tlemcen in this war. We won't be able to get all of it, though, because it's unjustified demands. But at the very least, you know, you can watch us. We're going to run over their army. And after we run over their army, they're fully occupied. That's when we will make our demands. Tunis is not going to help them out. And uh, from here, you can see I'm going to take not everything because I don't want to stay in this war for any longer than I have to. I'll just... Uh, let them be a one province miner and then get eaten up by Morocco. It doesn't really matter to me that much what happens to them because I got, you know, a lot of the important provinces that I need. Now I border Castile and that is going to be what I'm going to need in the future. Right here, I prioritize getting the level two center of trade and, uh, you know, just making my border look a little bit prettier in this first war against Tunis. The level two center of trade will help us with our uh, trade and money situation. But, uh, pardon me. But uh, from there, you know, we are looking for the next opportunity. Uh, Morocco is in a war, but we're in a regency council. So we can't take advantage of the fact that Morocco is getting messed up right now. Uh, so we just slow it down. We wait. We dev the Renaissance. We get the Renaissance and then we're going to, you know, get it for pretty cheap. We Our first idea group is going to be quantity because we're going to need a lot of troops and it's going to you know, be a very long campaign. We start with quantity. In retrospect, probably should have started with something like, you know, Diplo or admin or religion or religious and then admin, then maybe quantity later, because uh, we do have Portugal to help us out with a bunch of wars. Um, we do go back to war with Tunis. We call in Naples and uh, Portugal again. From Morocco, we decide to... Uh, just war reps and I think break their alliance with Tunis because I don't think we can full annex Tunis. So after this, we, you know, 1488 is when that alliance or that uh, truce is going to be up. That's when we're going to jump back in on them. And from here, you know, once again, return or full annex, get a little bit of money. It's more important to full annex and get that money so we don't have to deal with them any longer than we have to. And, you know, in 50 years, our borders look really clean. We are basically where Tunis is supposed to be. And again, that was with a lot of luck. Uh, we do have to go to war with Aragon, and I want to go to war with Aragon so we can kind of get a, a foothold on the mainland, but you can see they're super powerful because it's allied Aragon and Castile. So I tried to get an alliance with the Ottomans, and I don't know if the Ottomans would actually help us, but uh, 
later on you will see that that is indeed the case all right here we get the royal marriage that will secure the alliance with the Ottomans, but then the next hard part is actually getting them into the war with us. The second idea group we go with, I think, yeah, it is going to be the religious ideas, but we do fall behind on those ideas because, you know, we have to keep up in tech and we have to keep up in, uh, you know, coring everything and so much stuff is super expensive to core uh, right now. We're looking at this war right here, trying to determine if we can do this war versus Aragon and Castile. You can see the Ottomans will come in, pretty much all of my allies will. I even ally the Palatinat somehow. Uh, actually, I allied the Palatinat because they inherited Burgundy. So it's like, okay, they're popular. I back up the save here again, and uh, that's because this war does go wrong for me sometimes. I did, uh, you know, Use backup saves. I did save scum a little bit because this is a really difficult achievement. This is one that I was grinding my face against a stone wall for for a long time. So uh, there you can see I'm waiting to get my favors with the Palatinat. I can just call them in later. It wouldn't be that difficult. But uh, we do decide to call them in. We peace out Florence pretty quick. We're going to peace out uh, Savoy pretty quick. And uh, at the end of this clip in particular, that's when I'm going to let my live commentary pick back up because at the time I was listening to music on stream, which is why I'm doing this voiceover in the first place. So let's pick it back up. It's 49%. There we go. All right, Savoy, let's have you humiliate... Let's see, uh, no more alliance with Aragon and Castile, I don't care what else happens over there, and money, sure. Alright, Aragon took those two provinces once more. Let's get, uh, mysticism. This is, uh, an ill-advised battle, because they have a lot more than me, but... I have to at least try to take this defensive battle, and wow, we won. Nice. Alright, there are the Ottomans. We just have to wait for them to walk into Aragonese and Castilian land. It's going to take a little while, but it looks like they're making progress up there. Here, I'm going to attack the uh, Aragonese army again. That was a good win. I can't take on Castile and Aragon at the same time, so I'm going to lose those sieges. Hopefully they turn and attack Morocco. Or maybe I do what I did earlier. White piece Castile. Yeah, let's white piece Castile. Now, funnily enough, Castile is going to be able to rock the Moroccan army. And because Morocco called an offensive war, the Mamluks will not help them out. Now, I'm going to be able to take everything I need from the Aragonese. Alright. And now, from Aragon, we can take these two provinces, these two provinces, those are the ones that we need. Uh, then I also want to take the islands, which that would make a coalition. Let's check after the tick. Alright, it would be a slight coalition. If I were to take everything that I want to take, so I won't take, I won't take Mallorca. But I do want uh, Sardinia. And then I can have them seed stuff to Naples.
Azores to Portugal? I mean, sure. All right, no, it's not part of the war goal, so this piece is going to cost us a pretty penny, but it should be fine. And then I did uh, war reps. We're definitely going to need war reps. And have them annul treaties. Uh, they don't have any treaties. Cool. Yeah. Because they need that to form the two Sicilies, I think. They lost land to Venice, though. Sucks to suck. And then we will release... Valencia and Sardinia. <coughs> Ah, uh, I forgot to do the justified war. I forgot to wait for justified wars. Ah, well. And we do have positive relations with Portugal, despite having two pieces of their land. Let's keep upping our ideas, too, because I know we're behind in tech, and I know we're behind in pretty much everything, but I need to try to keep up somewhere all right i need the ottomans to thoroughly thrash the mamluks enough that they will not join this war i want to declare on morocco oh wow uh castile gave valencia a province i don't know the last time i ever saw that uh, did I forget to get a claim on them? No, I do have claims on them. Does Mazab get Barbary Ikta? That's a good question. Um, They can get it, but I've been using the Feudal Theocracy because we need that extra missionary. I mean, it probably would have been better to use this early game so I can raid coasts, but I've never raided coasts before and I don't really know how. As stupid as that might sound. Alright, Truce with Castile is up. Let's declare this war. Milan and Naples will join. Gov reform. Let's do stronger missionaries. All right, they won't break alliances. You know what? Money war reps, transfer trade power is fine. Well, that was, uh, what's up, cool leader? Mamluk check? Uh, they lost one province to the Ottomans. Which means now I have to wait to declare war on Morocco so I can drag the Ottomans in to that war as well against the Mamluks, which... I can't even take everything. I can't take everything in one war too that I want or that I need to form Andalusia. I can take a large bite out of them and connect my lands. Uh, it doesn't look too bad actually. Coalition? Coalition doesn't look like it's too bad. A little bit of money. Alright, let's do this before I get completely carpet sieged. Where the hell is my army? Alright, let's reduce... Oh, I just teched up too. Ooh, I can become a kingdom. Just come and take me out of deep desperation. Yeah, I just teched up, so... This is fine. That was a good war. And <laughs> we still have our alliance with Portugal. Progressive expansion is kind of uh, making that difficult to keep. But what I can do now is get some more claims. I feel like every single 
mission tree for people in the Maghreb should allow you to reform Andalusia. It kind of doesn't make sense that they don't. Maybe I'm just being stupid, but... Alright, when is the Ottoman at war with Muscovy? Holy shit. Uh, let's see. Truce with... The Mamluks is up in three years. March 1514. So I have to be on the lookout for if I can call them into a war against Morocco. Uh, I would be able to. Based. All right. The Ottomans won't join because they have war exhaustion. Honestly, that's fine. But if I co-belligerate the Mamluks, that calls in a doll that lets me call in the Ottomans, so that's worth it. We go. Alright, what do I want from the Mamluks? I am going to want war reps, all of this land over here. I mean, honestly, as much as they'll give me. Money? How much money would I even get? A hundred? Yeah, nah, we don't want money. So we could peace out the Mamluks right now. I would get everything I want. Yeah, may as well. Perfect. Let's see. How much money would they give me? Only 20 ducats? Shit, I'll just keep taking land then. Uh, that would be way too much overextension, though. 54%, 44%. Right now, I am at 44%, so... Another 44%. And, uh, break your alliance. Overextension's dangerously high, that's okay. Let's annex you. Yeah, let's release a few nations too. Let's release Sus. They'll have reconquests. But we should be good. I mean, we have to remember we're not going for a world conquest here. It's just a conquest on, like, all of the, you know, Sunni religions, which is basically a world conquest. I don't, or I might have to take out the Bahmanis, because they're Shia, but I will have to go down into, you know, down here, which is why I'm going to go down through the Mamluks down into, you know, Songhai or whatever else if I can. I need to grab a colonist just so I can colonize those provinces. <laughs> These provinces actually do need to be switched over to body. But, uh... I can skip India. I can skip, you know, China. The tribes up here. Japan. I have to conquer down here, but... And that's going to be super annoying. <laughs> but once I'm done up here in Europe, I just have to keep fighting the Mamluks over and over again. I will eventually have to fight the Ottomans, but they get weak in the late game. So I've been told. So I'll just wait until they're weak, you know. Let's see, rebel factions. We're going to have Moroccan separatists. They're both kicking each other's asses, which is fantastic for me. The Ottomans are going to war against Genoa, which is bad because I wanted to declare this war against Castile first, so I'm gonna... <sighs> Fuck me, Ottomans! You suck! I mean, I have to accept that. Oh, they better give me some of these claims that I wanted. 
All right, so what I had worried would happen did happen. Morocco took a little piece of land that I need to form Andalusia. That's okay, because I'm going to declare on Castile anyway. All right, let's declare on Castile. Palatinat, Milan and two Sicilies will help. Corsica popped out. Interesting. What did I declare for? Cadiz? That's right here. Uh, I don't have the DLC that lets me threaten. So I cannot threaten for war, unfortunately. Or threaten with war, rather. Yeah, let's promote the Catalan culture because of the gold mine here as well. Then I think when I form Andalusia, Moroccan will automatically get uh, pushed up. I don't know. Consort Regency? Okay, it's not bad. It's only going to be there for a year. Uh, oh, wow. We can finally embrace this institution, too. Holy crap. Uh... I know I just said we're so far behind on our techs and everything. Well, let's do this. Idea group for, uh, I think I want Diplo ideas. Province work score cost minus 20%. Let's get another diplomat. Let's have, uh, How much money would I get out of this? Only 200? Uh, no money then. Let's, they don't want to be humiliated. Now let's return those cores to, uh... The two Sicilies. I like having the two Sicilies as an ally. Let's see. Release Leon. Maybe Portugal will attack it. Hmm. That's a good idea. That is definitely a good idea. I'll just wait for the rest of my troops to get that 100% war score. And then I can just clean up Morocco by myself. Yeah, they have no allies, no nothing. Let me just clean up Morocco. Let's do this then. Let's, ay yeah, that is some expensive cores. What the fuck? How many dev is that? 16 and 12 dev? But they're so expensive. How? Why are they so expensive? Holy shit. And then return a core to Marrakesh. Money. Thank you. Let's rival Great Britain. Maybe enemy of enemy will help out a little bit. Common rivals, yeah, it does a little bit. What oh, that 95% Ulema. <laughs> uh I'll seize land in a little bit. There, I can start integrating Marrakesh soon. Man, what is with these expensive cores, dude? I think I'm also going to need to give out uh, land rights. Oh, we can get burger loans. Yeah, let's do that. I only got one burger loan? We're at our maximum number of loans? Oh. I mean, I need my admin points to core stuff up, and I also need to finish my religious ideas. So, like, this is going to be rough. 
You know, how come whenever some other country uses their great power action to break alliance, it works, but whenever I try to do it, they're like, nah, fuck you. You break your alliance with Savoy. No, I don't wanna. Huh? <laughs> I accidentally royal married Toffee Lalt, thinking they were Seuss. Because Seuss is my vassal. So yeah, now I can declare on Toffee Lalt. I don't have to co belligerate Portugal. Yeah, this is a good war to declare. I'll take the stab. I'm at plus one stability. I'll take the stab hit. I can't even vassalize them anyway. Because we have their core provinces. Alright, uh, yeah, sure. This only works if Portugal get dragged in, and they did. Yeah, it's gonna be way too much war score. So I'll just take this one province that I already have a claim on. I mean, even taking... Well, actually, I could take those two provinces, connect my lands. Or just take this fort and fez. Okay, yeah, I'll take the fort and fez. I'll have them break their treaty with Great Britain. And then I'll go back to war with them for the rest of the holdings down here in the Maghreb. Alright, let's try to go relieve the siege over here. If they get this, I'm going to be so mad. God damn it, dude. This is not going well. Hey, another government reform. Uh, Military engineering. What are they running to? Alright, we stack wiped them. Now they definitely want peace. They'll take this. They won't give me that. A little bit of money? Sure. Don't care. I'll take everything down there later. Toffee lulled. Back to Seuss. Oh, wait. I forgot to... Okay, I'll sell it back to them. It's their core, after all. And I get to make a little bit of money. <laughs> Alright, cool. Now I'm black flagged. Get out of here. I need decor. The missionary's already working there, you bastards. Knock it off. Stop that. Let me core them first, you dumbasses. <laughs> I love that so much. Oh no, my good my good uh, general died. That blows. All right. Is this a core yet? Not yet. Alright. There it is. Hold on, I gotta do this for the future video. Form Andalusia! Yes, please! New traditions and ambitions. I don't even know what they are. Let's see. Morale of armies plus 15%, ship trade power plus 25%. Well, I don't have any ships. Let's see. Fire damage received, minus 15%. Vassal force limit contribution, plus 100%. That's pretty cool. Tolerance of heathens. And it's a little weird, but because we're going to be converting them, but whatever. Uh, idea cost, that's really good. And monthly piety, minus 0.1. Okay. National manpower modifier, plus 15%. Court CCR, minus 15%. And a colonist? What do I need a colonist for? Oh man, yes. Deus Volt CB as well. And let's get our uh, trustworthy allies. Acquire subjects. Let's get our first policy too. Morale of armies and... Uh, okay. Okay. What's up, Alistar? How are you doing tonight? Let's see. How am I doing compared to everyone else? 12, 12, 12? 
I am at uh, 10, 9, 11 behind on my ideas. There it is, an unlikely candidate. An unlikely candidate. We did it. And that's only part one of this insanely difficult campaign. Oh wow, we did it just under 100 years, look at that. 11th of June, 1544. Just under 100 years. We formed Andalusia as Mazab, but if we want to do another achievement, it's going to take a long time. The third way. Not one province is Sunni or Shia. So we have to convert the rest of the goddamn world. Except for the Catholics. Oh, look at, look at shitty little Russia. Oh my God. Thank you very much for watching this video. This, like I said at the beginning, was one of the hardest achievements I have ever had the mispleasure of doing, and there's still a lot more to go. And I am going to be honest with you, I did make a save state right after we uh, formed Andalusia, and I played for about another 250 years, and I got to a point where I couldn't finish the third way. I would not be able to take out an amazingly huge Bengal. I would not be able to take out an amazingly huge Ottomans that I was still allied to with only like 80 years left. And so I gave up and I don't know if I'm going to try it again. So if you want to see me attempt the third way again, I want to get to either 1000 subscribers here on YouTube or 1000 followers on Twitch. And I will try that again at 1000. I did, uh, like I said, keep the save. I know what DLCs I won't have for it, but uh, if it doesn't happen anytime soon, then I might just have to start again from scratch, and maybe we can start from Oman instead. Who knows? But uh, I do want to thank you for watching this video. I do want to try to get to 1,000 subscribers as fast as possible for these EU4 videos. I have a lot of fun making them. I hope you have a lot of fun watching them, and we will see you in the next one. If I ever get this Knights run off the ground, it might be that. Or... It might be a hungry video because playing as big, easy countries is big, easy, and a lot of fun. Thank you very much for watching. We will catch you in the next one.